Hey all, lead project manager Lee Horn, Lee RSPN here with the overview of a Season 2 Battle Pass Challenge System. We're here to your feedback on Season 1 grinding, created a system which should allow for significantly greater Battle Pass progress, with less grind over time for players to return on a regular basis to maximize their challenge resets. <coughs> with the launch of Season 2, you'll be able to complete daily and weekly challenges to level up your Battle Pass. As we previously mentioned, we're endeavoring to balance our gameplay purity with variety and fun, so none of this season's challenges will require a YouTube tutorial to figure out. Kinda suck. More than half of your weekly challenges will grant an entire battle pass level as a reward. The remaining daily and weekly challenges grant stars, which, combined with match XP, contribute a repeatable weekly challenges that grants a full battle pass level with each completion. Stars are XP specific to battle pass, meaning stars do not impact account level progression. Daily challenges. Each day you will receive three new daily challenges chosen randomly from a pool of over 200. Nice. These challenges range from deal 200 damage. Oh. Each day you'll receive three blah blah blah. These challenges range from deal 200 damage in Bunker to play one game as Lifeline are intended to be achievable in a short play session. Complete your daily challenges and earn 3,000 stars each. Your challenge will reset every day. Weekly challenges. You'll reset a, a set of seven new weekly challenges. These challenges intend to take several play sessions to complete a range from get 20 kills as Gibraltar, Bangalore, or Mirage. To loot 100 epic items, four of the weekly challenges are worth 6,000 stars and 24,000 stars total. Weekly resetting challenges. I mean, yeah, I like this. I think this should have been in the game from the launch, but the, the second best thing they can do is to add it. Uh, I think it's a good change. I'll smash it, yeah. I'll smash it. Stars are just XP level up for your battle pass, not for your account. And then there's the trailer, which looks fucking cool. Brada. It's weird how they show Gibraltar getting a kill. Using iron sights, what a noob. Literally, the average Mirage player's aim right there. He's cute. That can't be good. Definitely not good. Rock up, ladies. Let's move. <laughs> yeah, I like the art style of this a lot. This is the least board I've been all day. I like the black outlines on stuff. It looks really good. Thanks. What is that? Alright, what else what else you guys want me to watch? EMP was detonated inside the report. Personnel report seeing an unknown figure along the river. Subsequent damage from support systems caused the tower to collapse and crash down. Oh, that looks cool. These have once again taken their native Clean place on the established island. base camps and have been Ooh. Ooh. has allowed certain areas to stabilize and regrow. Oh my god, that looks so cool. To add some new features to the arena. But one thing is certain. <laughs> Yo, if I see a single one of you fuckers kill that dragon in the cage, I am banning you from my chat and everywhere I can, dude. Or Sonic, thank you for the Prime, though. I really appreciate that, not you, because you're giving me money, so. King's Canyon will never be the same. Wait, if this shit can kill you, dude, if this shit fucking kills me, holy fuck, you guys are never gonna hear the end of it.
I'm having a lot of fun. Okay, let's 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 look at the the new the We're new map places. Oh, I like this. I like this. Less buildings to camp in. Hell yeah, dude. That looks cool too. Like that looks ruined on that side compared to before. You could walk there, and it looks like you can't now. That's cool. That's cool. Watch, find some pathfinders. They're just gonna fucking camp up there probably if they can. Oh, and you can see the fucking Le Leviathan like on the map. I mean, everything else looks the same here, basically. Known figure along the the support systems cause that. I like this. This looks fucking good, dude. This looks good. That looks really good. Yeah, I mean, the fucking and flyers or whatever. Now, this is fucking cool, actually. I like this really much. A lot. Very much. That looks really cool. We grow boogers. They had shroud tested in private? Of course they did. Add some new features to the arena. I don't know. Ugh. It's like a Thunderdome cage. Features I don't want another one of those. Please tell me you can't be inside there, because that's fucking annoying. That's going to be like a really strong camp place. I don't want to see that. I hope it's not. I hope it's not that good for camping. Yeah, you can see the fucking things like in the map. Wait. The, ma the background changed, actually. Look, look at the background here. Wait, maybe not. No, I'm, I'm just losing my mind. No, no, it's, it's the same. I'm just fucking crazy. Yeah, I don't like... I mean, at least there's something here, but I don't like having a tower, dude. That did not Hello, work in Thunder. Hello, how are you? I'm gonna grant for rank 1 when it comes out. It depends on the rank system. Primarily, if rank is more about playing the system than playing the game, then fuck no. I'm I, primarily I give you guys content. I I I stream, I scream, I shoot shots, I miss, I hit them, I fuck around. If I have to ever like, oh sorry guys, I think it's best for me not to play Apex today because the rank system is blah 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 blah. Fuck that shit. I'm streaming. But if the rank system is good, then I can definitely get rank one. Um, as long as it's not like playing the system when we're playing the game, you know. But if I have to play the system, then fuck that. I, I want to stream for you guys first. You're not going to get any kills, don't give too many points? Depends. If the rank system is bad, I will play so I can give feedback. But if, like, like if I want to get rank 1 in Overwatch, which if I play a little bit, I probably could, but it's more about if you place high, you want to place late into the season, and you want to not play the game, and wait as long as you can. Because if you have to play the system, aka six stack to make sure you don't decay, sit on your, like, placement, stuff, stuff like that, right? So you want to, like, play the system instead of actually playing a lot to rank up. Ranking up is worse than ranking down. And if the game is, like, you know, super heavy on, like, playing super slow and placement and, like, oh, you don't want to die ever and ever. If you want to get rank one, you have to play super safe, super safe, only third party, super safe, super safe, only third party, hide, hide, hide. Fuck that shit, bro. Fuck it. That's not going to be fun content. Maybe it will be if it's like really competitive or something, but I don't know. Primarily, I want to give you guys good content. And if ranked doesn't like promote good content, then I won't play ranked the way it's meant to be played. I hope they release like preseason so they can just like adjust shit. When you're good at the game, when you're really fucking good at a game, when you frag out hard, when you fucking get high kill games, when you, you know, that shit. At that point, if it becomes easier to play the system than play the game, Fuck that shit, dude. That shit's not fun. DRs are supposed to be played like that? That is not true. They are not supposed to be played in any way that you say they want. They're supposed to be played. Like, imagine if ranked is literally only kills, right? Then this BR is supposed to be played completely opposite of any other BR. You can't say that something's supposed to be played that way just because it fits a genre. FPS games are supposed to be played this and that way. No, it's, it's not true. Like, it's, it all depends on the rule set that they implement for ranked. 